Hi everybody, this is going to be a lesson on drawing a sphere and making it feel round. So we're going to do a little drawing of a baseball in the grass like this, just with wishful thinking that baseball season will start sometime soon, I hope. So get your paper out and just follow along with me. What you're going to do to make a circle, you can do it freehand, but you can also just find something that can you can trace to make a circle. So I'll just take this jar here and I'll very lightly trace a little circle on it like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it gives me something to start with like that. And then I'm going to pretend that my light is coming from above and hitting the top of the ball on top. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to shade in the bottom half of the ball like this and just leave a little bit of the top like that. So there's a little shadow on, on the bottom side like that. It also might be casting a shadow on the ground. So I'll put a little shadow coming off to the side like that and a little bit underneath it like that, but mostly over to the side over here like that. So my light's coming from the top and the bottom of the ball is, is in shadow. Then you can take your finger or a tissue or whatever you want and I'll blend in my pencil in there like that and make that look like a nice soft gray that looks like it's light on top. And then I'll take my pencil and I'll add a little more gray. I'll layer a little bit more on the bottom part like this so that it goes from light to medium to dark like you did on your cylinder the other day. That's a gradation. And then I can blend that in a little bit too like that. So now I've got a little ball sitting on the ground. Now to make the top sort of pop out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a little line like this, freehand it comes through the back of the ball, it comes out the other side like that. It looks like the ball's sitting on the ground. And then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna make a bunch of, I'm gonna make kind of a gray like this that goes along above that line and above the ball like that, a little bit above the ball like that and down the other side like this. So I'm making a little background like you'll see in the photograph of the baseball. And then I'll take my finger and I'll blend that in like this so that the background looks like it's fuzzy and out of focus, like in the photograph of the baseball in the grass. So I'll just soften that up like that. You can do it a little bit or you can do it a lot. It doesn't, doesn't take much, but I'm just kind of blurring it so it looks like it's out of focus. Then I like to add a little extra black in here just to make it pop. So right at the, at the bottom down here, you can, you can blend your shadow in a little bit too on the ground, but then you go back in and you add a little extra black right where it touches the baseball on the bottom like that. So it makes it a little darker. You can also add a little bit of black right in here, which I call the core of the shadow right there like that. You can put it in there. If you wanna blend it in, you can, or you can leave it like that. Now, sometimes when you do your background, the top of the ball gets a little mushy. So you take your eraser on your pencil and I'll just kind of clean up the top of the ball like that a little bit. So it brought, pops out a little bit. <laughs> but what makes it look like a baseball? You gotta have a little bit of that seam in there that gives the stitches for the baseball. So if you look at the photograph, you can just kind of copy that, but I'll have a little line coming up this side, of, uh, inside the circle there, and it comes over the top and then it swings back in and makes a little turn like that. You make a little seam in it. See if you can do that with your pencil. And then you'll take, they look like little arrows or little birds. I'll start down here like this, and I'll put little upside down Vs, little upside down Vs that go along the seam like that. Just little ones, however many you wanna do. You can do a lot or a little, it doesn't matter. It's just a cartoon drawing of a baseball. It doesn't have to look like the photograph. It's just gonna be a little cartoon drawing we're doing of it. So now it looks like a baseball there a little bit. You can add more of those little, little Vs in there. Whatever the stitching looks like on a baseball, you can fuss with that. Then what I like to do is add a little bit of grass in it to make it look like it's sitting in the grass. So coming along in front of the ball like this, underneath it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some strokes like this with my pencil going up. Some of them go sideways, some of them go like this and they cross over the bottom of the baseball a little bit so it looks like it's hiding in the grass. So I'm just making a bunch of strokes that can be different sizes. Try to change the size, little ones, big ones like that. I'll just put a bunch of them going across and then maybe they have a few of them out here. Maybe there's one out here like this that the lawnmower didn't quite cut. You can put some big ones out front, 
but then you've got the baseball in the grass. If you need to, you can go back in with your pencil and just give me a nice sharp line with your sharp pencil to show me the outline of the baseball like that. And that, and you've got your, your drawing there. You can stop right there, or you can take your pencil and you can add a few white marks down here like this. Here's what I'm doing. I'm taking my eraser and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna erase out some of the grass like this. Just a few of them like that here and there. Just a touch, just to give it a little camouflage so the ball looks like it's hiding in, in the grass like that. If the top of the ball is messy, you can take your eraser with your pencil eraser and you can kind of clean up the top of the ball like that and make it look really nice like this. And there you go, you've got a little baseball sitting in the grass. Give that a try and take a picture of it and send it to me. I'll see you next time.